the Lord reign.
morning, my brothers and sisters. What a day to be in, an awesome day to be in the house of the Lord. Oh, yeah. Thank you, God. And I can say I'm truly thankful to be here today in front of y'all today. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, we already know many couldn't come into the church because of due to sickness and what's going on around us. Yeah. And for the ones who are watching visually, God bless y'all. And for the ones who are sick, we know that the Lord will heal. He will never fail. Yeah. Amen. I'm going to come to you with today's devotional reading from Psalm 34. And it says, I will exalt the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. I will glorify in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are ready. Their faces are never covered with shame. The poor man called, and the Lord heard, heard him. He saved him out of his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivered them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Yes. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. I read to you Psalm 34, uh, uh, verses 1 through 8, for the hearers and doers of God's word. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. It's a little overcast outside, but think back when you were in the world. Mm. Bad weather didn't stop you from having a good party. Sure did. So let's have a good Holy Ghost party. Come on, brother. Man. It's prayer time. Thanksgiving in my heart. Yes, Thank you that last night wasn't the last night. Yeah. Thank, you, Thank you that while we were asleep, danger all around us. Yeah. Lord, you protected us. Yes, Lord, that early this morning, yes, you awakened us to a brand new day. Yeah. And we say thank you. Thank you. But most of all, Lord, we say thank you for Jesus, yeah. who hung, bled, and died on Calvary for us. Yeah. Lord, he gave us a chance to be redeemed. Yeah. And we say thank you. Lord, those that are sick on their bed of affliction, we know that you can heal, Lord, if it be your will. We pray confident for those, Lord, that's sick. Lord, those that want to give up, Lord, please encourage them to go on with their father. Because, Lord, we know there's nothing too hard for you. Lord, we pray for all these churches that stand up in your name. People that's in person, people that's looking at you on the computer, the iPhones, or whatever, Lord. We pray that you comfort them, comfort us, Lord, because, Lord, there's just so much going on. We can't ride down the street without the fear of being shot. Lord, just so much hatred, Lord. Please turn and change hearts. Yes, yes, then, Lord, we pray for the message this morning. We pray that it go out, that someone can come running back and ask it, what must I do to be saved? Yes. Then, Lord, we want to hear you one day say, well done, that good and faithful servant. Lord, just give us home anywhere in your kingdom. Yes. Let's back in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Remain standing on your feet. This is our fellowship. Our amen. Wave to somebody. We welcome you. Oh, this is the place where we end up. Up this thing. We love you, man. You won't be the best thing. We welcome you. That's right. I'm talking to y'all. Give me a wave. We welcome you. To my left side. We welcome you. Welcome. Oh, this is a place where we live our body. This is the place where we live our To lift up with the best man. We're glad you can. You won't be the same. Hey, we welcome you to all our first world watchers. We welcome you. We welcome you. We welcome you. Welcome.
rivers. Let the rivers of my worship flow to you. Lord, I pray. Lord, I pray. In all I do. Let the rivers of my worship flow to you. Like streams in the valley. Like streams.
streams in the valley. What's going on, True Vine? I am Deacon Blackner here from the Couples Ministry, and I am here to invite you to our first ever couples brunch and games. Where is it happening? It's happening at TN Victory, located in Houston. The information should be on the fly. When is it happening? January 22nd, 2022, at 10.45 a.m. We ask that you RSVP by January 16th so that you will be included in this group. Don't miss this opportunity. I repeat, don't miss this opportunity to come out with your special boo, to have munches, games, food will be provided at your expense, of course. But we can play games and we will have a great time as a couple. So I'm joining, I'm asking you all to come along with us, join in with us, and begin 2022 in building up your personal relationship. God bless you. What's up? I'm Minister Harrison. I come to talk to you about this t-shirt. Y'all see this t-shirt? You like it? Check out the back. Check out the back. We got our theme scripture on the back. Got our, got our name on the front. I know you won't want these shirts. I'm preaching it all the time. So come on, come on and get one. How do you get one? There's an order form that's going to be at the church on every Sunday morning ready for you to fill out. Listen, we need you to fill it out fast though. Because the first, due, the first due date is on January 30th. So we're going to send out those shipments so that we can make sure we get send the order out so we can make sure we get everything back, okay? So January 30th is the deadline. Start filling it out today. Fill it out today, all right? So that you can make sure you get in. And what we're going to do is we're going to wear them on a specific day during the blast experience, all right? Now, check it out. The shirts are $30, okay? Let me tell you why. They're $30 because a portion of those proceeds go to support our scholarship fund, all right? So you're helping out the kids and you're going to support Blast, all right? So come on out, get your order, get your order in so that you can wear your shirt, wear your shirt. You can, you can flex your front and your back. Y'all like that? Let's do it. To get on the road with Blast where we're building lives around spiritual truth. Let's go. At the church, amen. amen. Church, amen again. Amen. You heard our announcements. We ask you to govern yourselves accordingly. We also have our announcements of all of our midweek services. We want to engage you and challenge you to get engaged with the ministries of the vine. Our women's ministry, our men's ministry, our choir, our prayer ministry. And so if you just check out our Facebook page, you see when all those ministries are meeting, and we want to invite you to come be a part. To those of you that are worship with us in person, we thank God for you. And we also celebrate our virtual watchers. Can we just celebrate them? Come on, give them a hand, all of our virtual watchers. You heard the choirs, they were singing. Let it flow to you. Let all my praise and my worship, let it flow to you. You heard the choir singing. It's just about that Jesus and who he is. Well, anybody this morning love Jesus? Anybody really love him this morning? I think you really love him. Just lift up holy hands and just declare, I love him. Those of you at home, if you really love him, don't be ashamed wherever you are. You might be in your home. You might be in your living room. Wherever you are, lift up holy hands and, and just say, Jesus, I love you. 
Come on, can we just worship the Lord for a few moments and just tell him how much you love him, how much you thank him, how much you're thankful for all he has done. Come on, come on, give God a worship. Give him a hand praise. The songwriter just simply said, Jesus.
that there was time that you prayed and you prayed. Hey. You cried and you cried. Hey. But when you turned it over to the Lord. Hey. He worked hey. it out. Hey. He worked it out. Hey. Wonderful Savior. Thank you, God. Yeah. He's worthy. Thank you, Lord. He's worthy. Oh. He's worthy. Yeah. A heavy load bound. When you couldn't keep yourself, he'll keep you in the midnight yeah. hour. Yeah. Oh, he's worthy. Oh, yes. yellow. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, God. Yes, he's worthy. He's worthy. Ah. I just yeah. wish some instruments of some mouths yeah. will open up your mouth yeah. and play your instrument yeah. and just call on his name. Yes. You don't need the organ to tune you up. Yeah. Because the organ wasn't there when you was going through your issue. Oh. You don't need the drums to hump, pump yeah. you up. Yeah. But the drums wasn't there when you were crying in the midnight hour. Yeah. But I wish I had a witness in the house this morning that remember can have a flashback when you didn't know what you were going to do. But you cried out on the name of Jesus. And he visited you in the midnight hour. And something, something, it's something, it's something, it's something. You ain't called on the theme for this month. This is just calling on his name. Uh, can you do me a favor? Just in case the person sitting next to you think you're crazy. It's all right. Just turn to him and look at him and say, I'm talking about Jesus. I'm talking about Jesus. <laughs> look at him. And if they didn't say nothing, find somebody yeah, else and yeah, say, I'm yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. Jesus. I'm talking, I'm talking about, about Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I didn't always understand how the old church would simply yeah, say, yeah. when I think about Jesus oh. and all oh, he's, he's done, done for, for me. me. Yeah. When I think about Jesus. Yeah. And how he I set me free. free. See, yeah. what, what, what they said was all of that causes a reaction. And so now, before I knew it, my feet start moving. Yeah. Before I knew it, my hands start clapping. Because when I think about Jesus and all he's done for me, when I think yeah. about Jesus, y'all cut that out, cut that out. How he set me free. Yeah. All I gotta, I, I gotta help, I can't help myself. Yeah. I just start. Yeah. Yeah. Something is something is just about that name, Jesus. Yeah. That's right, brother Lil D. Something have to change. Yeah, yeah. It ought to be somebody can testify that you ain't never called on him, and something didn't change. Yeah. And what I've come to learn, brother Shannon, is that he may not come when you want him. Yeah. Yeah. But he ain't never showed up late before. No. And I love how Donnie people say he's an old time guy. Old time. time. Yes, he yes, he is. Yes, he is. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. And the scripture for the day is simply this Psalms 34 and 8. Oh, taste and see. Yeah. <laughs> you heard Brother Shannon read it earlier. Oh, taste and see. That the Lord is. Yeah. Good, and then said, "Blessed is the man yes. that trusted in him." That's it. Y'all sit on down if you can. If you don't want to sit down, stand up and shout all service. It's all right because it's welcome in this place. Yes. So you ain't got to sit down because everybody else sat down because you might be, still be thinking about how when you were laying on your sick bed and you wanted to get up, but you found yourself couldn't get up. See, the problem with some of us, we think church is that we come and sit down the whole service. But oh, I wish I had a couple of people to go back to when you were laid down and could not get up. Laid in your sick bed, could not move, could not do what you wanted to do. However, you called on the name of Jesus. And now since Jesus has moved on your behalf, you just can't sit there as if he ain't done nothing. Oh, taste and see. Oh, taste and see. Better than good to me. Yes, he is. Yeah. He's better than good to me. Yes, he is. Yeah. He's better than good to me. Yeah. 
better than good to me. <laughs> He's better than good to me. 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 Hallelujah. If it had not, if it had not, if it had not, if it had not been for the Lord on our side. Hallelujah. 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 I, I'm trying to get through the text here, Rev. Constantine. But I need a couple of people to testify to the person next to you and just say, he's been good to me. 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 Tell somebody, he's been good to me. He's been good to me. Tell somebody, he's been good to me. Tell somebody, he He's been good to me. 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 I can't tell it all. I can't tell it all. I can't tell it all. To God.
nobody like him. Yes. Nobody like him. Nobody like him. Nobody like you, God. Yes, God. Nobody. 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 No. No. Nobody like him. Okay. Nobody like him who could put up with me and love me in spite of me. Nobody like him. No, 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 nobody like him that if I confess my sins, that's right, imagine her. You know what he promises? That he's faithful and he's just. You know what he said? I'm going to forgive your sins and I'm going to cleanse you of all unrighteousness. Ain't nobody like him. Ain't nobody like him. That if I call on him, you know what he promises? I'll answer. Ain't nobody like him. And he said, draw nigh to me. And I draw nigh to ain't nobody like him. Ain't nobody like him. And when you're hungry, he said, I'll be your bread. When you're thirsty, I, I, I'll be your water. Ain't, ain't nobody like him. 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 Well, go praise him then. Ain't nobody like him. Ain't nobody like him. And he deserves it, Deacon Jack. He deserves all the praise. Because he's a blessed Savior. He's worthy. Well, go praise him then. Well, go praise him then. Everybody. Everybody praise him. Open up your mouth, don't be ashamed to.
sing the praise him. Praise him. Jesus. Jesus. Blessed Savior. He's worthy. Come on, give him a great big hand praise. He's worthy. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's worthy. Yes, he is. He's worthy. Yes, he is. He's worthy. He's worthy. So God just told me it's already done. trying to decide Say something. It's good sense. You better do some research. Give advances here. And they they've done some research. But as believers, Deacon Jack, after we have looked at what man has to say, then we put that behind us. Secret closet, and we consult our doctor. And since we know his presence is here, I, I thought I was going to preach.
preach about it and counter with it. But what I prayed for was God. already doing what we want to preach. So I'm asking every believer in the house, stretch forth your hands and heart towards this mother and daughter and just call his name. See, the procedure has to do with her hearing. Yes, Lord. But that's in the physical realm. But in the spiritual realm, faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the word. And I had an encounter with him, Reverend Constantine, where he says, by his stripes. Jesus cannot let his word return void if he said it. He has to perform it. Jesus. Jesus. celebrating. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So David says, since he can jack the spirit again, me about that text is David writes this not at the top of the mountain. He didn't write this when everything was perfect in his life. He didn't write this in the best of situations. He wrote this in a cave hiding from his life. And he started out verse 1 by saying a personal proclamation. I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise, again, he's not in the best of situations. For scripture will say David has just got through having a crazy moment because he had to play crazy with the Philistines to get his life saved. He's in a cave because he's hiding from somebody he thought loved him. He's in a cave because a supervisor has now turned their back on him. He's in a cave because somebody that he thought that he was close with has now said they want to kill him. He's in a cave because somebody who at one time wanted to share clothes with him now is trying to take his life. You, you do remember Saul said, put on my armor. But now in that place, in that cave of life, of that place of feeling like I'm ostracized, my life is on the line, he pins a public proclamation, I will bless the Lord at all times. 
But, but then Reverend Constantine, Reverend Williams, he moves from making a public proclamation, he said, uh, uh, to making a personal proclamation, he said, let me make a public plea. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Now, what David is saying there, now, in, in, the, in the literally of the Greek, he's saying, will you help me spotlight his name? Will you help me make his name great? That's, that's what he's saying. Will, will you help me, even in the cave, even in a bad situation, will you help me celebrate him? What, what David is picturing is that, you know, there were times that when, when one would ho holler out on one side, hallelujah, somebody else on the other side might echo and say, God is good. Will you help me magnify and glorify his name? It, it might be somebody in the choir that think about what God has done and say, he's a way maker. And then somebody in the pew might yell out, he's a wonder in my life. Will you help me magnify his name? Yeah. It might be somebody on the left side of the sanctuary and think about how he provided for them just this week and might call out, he's a provider. And then somebody on the right side would then say, yes, he is. Oh, magnify the Lord. Will, will you help me make his name great? Uh, but then David, he says, you know what, as I talk about my own public, my proclamation, uh, my personal proclamation, and now I'm making this public plea, David then says, now, but listen, let, let me tell you what he's done, uh, how he has provided uh, this poor man cry. Let, 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 let me tell you how awesome he is that he put his angels around us and he took care of us. See, David's in the cave and he's talking about how good he is. Can I ask you a question? Can you talk about how good he is even in the midst of a cave? Can you celebrate his goodness even when things don't look good? I, I'm almost done. Give me four or five minutes. I'm out of here. Can you talk about how good he is uh, even when things don't look good? David said, he's been good to me. I, I, I'm in a cave, but he's been good to me. Uh, I, I've had moments when I didn't even know how to eat, where I was going to eat, because when I was in the temple, I asked him for some bread, and they told me all they had was some show bread, but he's still been better than good to me. Uh, he's been good to me. And even in the cave, David said, you know what? He's been good uh, to me. Yeah. Yeah. All of that was just intro. Then David comes to verse 8. David says, you know why? Because I know him. Yeah. Yeah. See, the only reason, the only way you can celebrate him in the cave, you got to know him. The only way you can give thanks in the midst of a bad circumstance, you got to know him. The only way you can shout in the midst of a storm, you got to uh, know him. The only way you can lift up holy hands uh, with nothing in your pocket is when you know him. The only way you can stand up in the midst of the sanctuary and declare how good he is uh, even when you physically don't feel good, uh, you got to know him. Well, can I tell you this? Uh, knowing him is not just coming to church. Uh, knowing him is not having just a title. Knowing him is not just having uh, a long legacy in the building. No, knowing him is personal. Okay, let me let me place some spin on words for Genesis 4 will teach us after the beginning of the creation of Adam and Eve, Adam knew Eve. Okay, some don't like that, so let me come back again. Genesis 4, after creation, the text says Adam knew Eve. What did it mean? Literally suggesting that they had an intimate relationship, and because they knew each other, the text says they conceived. See, the problem with some of us that we can't worship in the midst of our storm is because we don't know him because they have not been any conception from us having an internal relationship with him. But oh, when you have had a personal encounter with him, and it has been intimate with just you and him, uh, then you can testify that times uh, when you've been by yourself uh, and you just found yourself crying, thinking about who, how good he has been. Uh, you didn't have no music, didn't have no drums, wasn't nobody that had sing you happy, but it was just you and the Lord one on one, uh, sitting in your restroom, uh, and you thought about who he is, uh, and all he's done, uh, and you couldn't help but to lift up holy hands uh, and tell him, thank have you ever been there to where you start telling him thank you and you even ask yourself what I'm getting all excited about well because you had an intimate relationship with him and now you just have a flashback of what he has done for you have you ever had a flashback yeah yeah, yeah. David would say you, you, the only way you can praise him in the midst of your circumstances is if you know him 
So that brings us to verse 8, and I'm gone for the day. So then verse, Dave, verse 8, David says, now, I want to make a promotional plea with you. I, 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 uh, I want to ask you, have you had an encounter with him? <laughs> That's what David did. See how David wrote that text and how he wrote this great psalm? He's praising him. He's blessing him. He's magnifying him. He says, oh, magnify the Lord with me. But then uh, he wrote verse 8 for us readers. See, when you read it later, later on, uh, he said, I want to give you a promotional plea, uh, oh, taste and see. Uh, see, whenever you've experienced something good, uh, you want to tell somebody else about it. So verse 8, David says, uh, will you taste him for yourself? That's the encounter he's talking about. He says, will you encounter him for yourself? Okay, well, here, here's, here, here's it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to hurry close. How do you encounter the Lord? How do you encounter him? Let me shout three out to you and I'm gone. You encounter him, number one, through his word. You, you might recall Bible readers when Peter found himself there fishing. He said, Master, we done taught all night long. Nevertheless, at your word. I, I, we're at our wit's end. We don't know what we're going to do. We don't know how we're going to make it. We did all we can do. However, we're going to be obedient to your word. That's how you encounter him when you are obedient to his word. See, then you realize how powerful his word really is. When you're obedient, that's why he told Joshua, Joshua, meditate on this word. Don't deviate. Don't depart. Don't go right or left. You stay with the word. He said, this is what I'll do. I'll make your way prosperous and then you'll have good success. Look at somebody and say get in his word. That, that's how you encounter him in his word. Have you ever found yourself going through a situation and you open up his word and the word spoke to you as if it jumped, the word jumped off the pages into your heart and what happened was your heart came in agreement with the word though you slay me yet will I trust him. Blessed be the name the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leadeth me beside my soul shall make her boast unto the Lord the humble shall hear thereof and be glad oh magnify the Lord with me come let I, I, I read his word and his word comforts me that's how you encounter him in his Word. Number two, here it is. Number two, we encounter him through his ways. This is what he said in Isaiah. My thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways are not your way. What, what's some of his ways, his nature, his characteristics, uh, that he's a forgiving God? His ways are different. I, I had so many examples I wanted to show you, but can I just give you the ultimate? While on the cross, he says, Father, <laughs> forgive them for they know see that's a way that's a different way there his ways are not like our way the text says Jesus one day uh, came and saw some people that was dealing with issues and the scripture said he was moved with compassion his ways are not our ways his nature forgiving his nature of grace that's why lamentation says great is thy faithfulness new mercies we see uh, and watched it every time the sun gets up and you wake up mercy showed up uh, you miss your shout that's just his ways uh, his ways so number one I encounter him through his word I encounter him through his ways and lastly I encounter him through his works while we were yet in sin Christ died for us. Uh, his, his ways, his works, to where the hymnologist sat down one day and penned the words at the cross. At the cross, where I first saw the light and the burdens of my heart. It was there by faith I received my sight. And now I'm happy. 
the encounter, how do you encounter him to be able to say like David, I will bless the Lord at all times. You got to get in his word. They have the encounter to like David when you see his ways and see how forgiving he is and his grace and his compassion and his mercy. I, I see Deacon Fondo shaking his head and think about his testimony, how he said, Lord, I ain't going to do it no more. I'm getting right. But he went the other way, came back again. Lord, I ain't going to do it no more. I'm getting right. Still did it another way. Uh, came back in. And the Lord was just gracious enough that now he can sit here and say, you know what? Threw me the dangers, toss and snare. I'm yet still here. Here because his ways. Ah, but how many of us, boy, if somebody do something wrong with us, they mess up one time, it's over. His, his works is that he died for us, gave his life a ransom for us. That's the great works with, that is that what type of matter man is this that a man will lay down his life for a friend. So I ask you the question this, this morning, have you had an encounter? Can I tell you what the Lord began to work with me? And I'm, I'm gone, I'm gone, my time is far spent. Uh, this is what the Lord says, many of us, we say we know him, but have not had an encounter with him. Many of us say that we are part with him, but have not had a true encounter with him. Because if we had an encounter with him, we can't leave the same way. Okay, y'all missed it. Let, let, I'm gone, I'm gone. We cannot have an encounter with the Lord and still be the same. A blind man met him one day and he left there seeing. A woman at the well met him one day and she left there, she went there knowing a whole lot of men but left there saying, come see a man. Paul met him on Damascus Road one day and when he lost his sight, he said, Lord, I'll go where you want me to go. You ain't going to meet him and come back the same way. Okay, but even at his birth as a child, as a baby, some wise men met him. And Herod said, when you meet him, when you see him, come back and tell me where is that. But the text says these wise men went back another way. You ain't going to meet him and still leave the same way. I used to sing a song in church uh, that simply... So this, uh, uh, since I met Jesus, since I met Jesus, I, there's a burning deep down within. Later on, the song says it makes me want to run, shout hallelujah to the end. It, it, it's just something uh, since I met him. But then the other songwriter said, I went to a meeting one night. And my heart, my soul wasn't right. But something got a hold of me. Can I ask you the question, has something got a hold of you? See, I said, Lord, in this, in this year, 2022, our theme is simply engage, get engaged. You'll see that popping up on screens. You'll see that on some walls, get engaged, engaged. And as we begin this year off, we're saying engage, number one, with Christ. That, that's why you heard us this morning that all the theme of the song, all the theme of the scripture was Jesus. See, you can't engage the world right if you don't know Christ. You can't engage the church right if you don't know Christ. Matter of fact, truth be told, we can't engage one another right if we don't know Christ. So that's why we're point number one saying engage Christ. So here... My clothes simply is this, saying this. The songwriter says, there's nothing better than knowing Jesus. He'll pick you up and turn your life around. You ought to know him. Get to know him. Right now, today, just come. If you're here this morning, virtually or in person, and you don't know him. This morning, the Lord has preached. Before I read a scripture, he was preaching. He was making himself known. And he was inviting us to have an encounter with him. 
all service long he's been inviting us with his presence saying come on and dwell with me however some may have sat there and said I don't want to stay that's alright you may have sat there and said what's going on it's alright today we want to encourage you to come get to know him for yourself you might have sat around and said you know what I hear him hollering I hear the shouting I hear them hollering Jesus but I don't understand it well this is what we want to do we want to pray with you and we want to walk you through understanding who he is that you can see him in his word that you can have a personal relationship with him so while we begin to sing if you're here this is what I want you to do if you're virtual I want you to put in the comment section I want to get to know him for myself someone is reading those comments praying over those comments and will reach out to you if you're here personally and you want to get to know him you want a better relationship with him just lift your hands and someone will connect with you but today is your day Let's have an encounter with him. Because watch this. Many of us have had some great encounters. We know a lot of great people. But there's none greater than knowing Jesus Christ for yourself. Right now, today, just come. Join in with the choirs we sing. It's nothing better. Oh, it's nothing Knowing Jesus. Knowing Jesus. He will, oh, he will bring you up and turn your life around. You ought to know him. Sunday morning, I know Christmas season, that the natural, the world said it ended on Christmas of December 25th, but we ought to celebrate the birth of our Savior each and every chance we get. And the songwriter said, Jesus, Jesus, oh, what a wonderful child, Jesus, Jesus, so holy, meek and mild, let's stand all over this place. As we prepare to dismiss, we thank God for each and every one of you worshiping physically, person, and virtual. Don't forget, we give as we're leaving out the sanctuary. The scripture says, will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But you say, where have we robbed thee? In tithes and in offering. You're cursed with a curse. Bring y'all the tithes in the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house. And prove me now with, said the Lord of hosts. And I will open up the windows of heaven and pour y'all blessing, and there shall not be room enough to receive Look at somebody just say it's somebody's name Jesus. Look at somebody else and just say it's somebody's name Jesus. Come on, everybody, call Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, come on, everybody, everybody say Jesus, so holy.
Gracious Master, we thank you even now for your presence. We thank you, God, for your power. We thank you for your provision and your protection. And God, we thank you that we have the opportunity, the ability to call on that name, Jesus. That there is no greater name than the name Jesus. God, we thank you for the visitation of your spirit in this place. So now, God, as we leave this place, but never from your presence, keep back all dangers seen and unseen. God, we thank you for your many blessings that you have been stored upon us. And now, God, we lift up every prayer request. We lift up every individual that are calling on your name for salvation. It's the name of Jesus. So now, God, I pray over each and every person that's under the sound of my voice now through the anointing of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ I pray covering power now cover our going and our coming I plead the blood of Jesus that God you will protect us from hurt, harm or danger in the name of Jesus that God even though we may have a mask on that we're covered by your blood in the name of Jesus. Even if we've taken our shots, God, we're covered by your blood in the name of Jesus. No harm to our families in Jesus' name. That God, our homes will be protected in Jesus' name. Then God, we pray again for our college students as they prepare to return to their college campuses. In Jesus' name, go with them lead guide and direct them and then god i pray for individuals that's in the house now that has decisions to make in the future i pray for individuals in the house now that's dealing with circumstances on their jobs that's not sure what to do god we call on your name jesus and god we seal it with your word now unto him that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we can ask or think God we bless your name in advance have mercy may the grace of God sweet communion of his Holy Spirit rest rule and abide with us both now and forever and if you love the Lord with a loud voice let us all call out on that name Jesus you're dismissed